Hi guys, it's very early Monday morning. I've been up all night trying to get this video together for you because I have a lot of information I need to get out to you before the market opens. For those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Stock Curry. I used to work as an analyst for Merrill Lynch and Morgan Stanley, and now I analyze stock picks from the top 15 YouTubers. I compile all of my analysis into a daily video that I post right here on this channel. I spend hours every day watching YouTube videos so that you don't have to. All you have to do is watch this one video and you will get every single stock pick from the top 15 YouTubers. All I ask in return is that you hit that like button and subscribe to get notified when I release my next video. In fact, I'll give you five seconds to do that right now. All right, before we get into today's stock picks, I just wanna remind everyone that I am not a financial advisor and none of the YouTubers I follow are financial advisors either. We have a lot of information to cover this morning, so let's get into it. Okay, first stock we're gonna talk about this morning is AAPL. Larry Jones thinks you should be stocking up on Apple. He believes that they are being very secretive about their EV and that they are much further along than they are letting the public know. Because Apple will strive to be the number one EV manufacturer, Larry Jones believes Apple will outperform Neo and Tesla. He recommends putting 10% of your EV portfolio into Apple. Next up is Beam, B-E-E-M. This is a solar company, including solar panels and solar powered charging stations for EVs. Larry Jones owns Beam as a long-term play and recommends buying more Monday. Next up is BNGO. I talked extensively about BNGO in parts one and two of this video. I just want to update you and let you know that Chris Sane put a buy under price on the stock of $4 with an ideal buy in price of $3, which is close to the buy under and ideal buy in prices that I gave you yesterday. Jack Spencer noted that technically the stock has been consolidating over the past few days, which means the stock is ripe to break out to the upside or downside. Which direction BNGO moves will depend upon the news we get out of their symposium this week. The symposium starts 10 a.m. Eastern time this morning. Ken and Grace thinks you should buy the stock today, regardless of what the price is at. Next up is CRSP, CRISPR Therapeutics. This is a genomics company. Stockmo mentioned this again today. It's the best genomics company to buy for 2021 as a long-term investment. Next up is CRSR, Cosair Gaming. There's been no news lately and the stock has been trading mostly flat. This can be a good opportunity to get in cheap on options. Jack Spencer sees another 10% to 15% drop in the short term, and I agree. Next up is DS Drive Shack. MACD is starting to turn bullish. RSI is below 40, which is slightly oversold. This could be a good swing trade with about a 10% to 30% upside over the next two to three days. Next up is Fate, F-A-T-E. This is a genomics company. ARK Invest just started buying the stock, so expect it to continue to go up as people start to become aware of it. Stockmo just mentioned the stock also, so this might be a good time to buy before it becomes a hype stock. Just be aware that this has already risen 40% over the past few days, so it might pull back soon. Next up is FTEK, FuelTech. This stock is a technical dream. Smart Trader sees a cup and handle technical breakout forming on the daily chart, which you can see here, a bull flag on the weekly chart, which you can see here, and a three bar play on the weekly chart, which you can see here. There's bar one, bar two, and bar three breaking out above bar three. MACD and RSI are also in consensus. Technically, everything points to this stock rising significantly this week. You can trade options or buy the stock. Because the technicals are so certain on this stock, I think you are safe to buy options. I do recommend buying the $6 weekly strike price and not the $7 or $8 strike because we're not sure how high this stock will rise this week. Next up is IDEX. Jack Spencer says the stock is overbought and not to swing trade it. However, I believe this would be a good short as it has strong support at $1.76 and weaker support at $2. If you do decide to short this stock, look to close your position at around $2. Next up is IPOD. This is a SPAC. It has the same manager that brought SPCE, OPEN, and IPOE to the market. All three of those shot up over 50% once they announced which companies they were bringing public. IPOD and IPOF still have not announced who they are merging with, so you have an opportunity to get in on these stocks before they pop. Both of these have a floor of $10. Just keep in mind that it could be months before they announce a merger. Next up is MARA, Mara. This is a Bitcoin miner. Charlie with ZipTrader thinks the stock could double, but he recommends waiting until after a sell-off. 
I mentioned the stock in part one of this video, so you can watch that for my take on it. Charlie put a $60 price target on it, which represents a 127% upside from Friday's closing price. Technically, I'd like to wait for the stock to fall back to the 50-day moving average before buying, but watch out in case it drops all the way down to the 200-day moving average. We just don't know how quickly this will sell off once it takes a breather from its recent run-up. Next up is the MVIS. This will probably continue to drop short-term. Chris Sane put a buy under price on this of $5.50, which is slightly above my buy under price of $5. Next up is NEO NIO. I talked about NEO extensively in part two of this video. I just want to give you an update on what some other YouTubers had to say. Chris Sane believes this stock will take off and go higher on Monday, but he also believes this stock will take a breather and come back down soon. He recommends buying a January 22nd put option on NEO, but says to wait until after we see the run-up lose steam before buying a put option. Larry Jones recommends putting 50% of your EV portfolio into NEO as a long-term play. He gave us a year-end price target of $120. Jack Spencer says that while NEO did in fact have a great NEO day that exceeded everyone's expectations, he reminded everyone to be looking six months to three years down the road since the market is forward-thinking. He also believes NEO will go up on Monday before seeing a small pullback towards the middle or end of this week and a larger pullback next month. Stockmo upped his price target on NEO to $100 to $120 by the end of the year. Tech Conversations informed us that some analysts raised their price targets over the weekend, which will add fire to the price run-up that we're expecting to see today. The traveling trader reiterated his $100 price target for the end of the year. He does expect NEO to go up in price on Monday and hit new all-time highs. Using Fibonacci extensions, he is predicting NEO to hit $71 soon. He does not see this as a good swing trade with the stock, but there are opportunities with options. Selling cost-covered puts and buying leap calls are his favorite plays. Smart Trader put a buy under price on NEO of $60 and an ideal buy-in price of $50. He lowered his year-end price target to $85. Smart Trader was actually a little bit disappointed with NEO Day because they failed to release a lower-priced car. Charlie with Zip Trader was happy with Neo Day, but wasn't blown away. He's not happy that the new sedan won't be available until 2022, and the new battery won't be available until the end of 2022. We saw Tesla's stock price drop when they announced a delay on their Model 3, so that is certainly a possibility with Neo as well. Charlie failed to give us his price prediction for Monday, but still likes Neo as a long-term play. Next up is NVDA, NVIDIA. We found out yesterday that they are working with NEO to develop their next generation of autonomous vehicles. This stock should pop Monday, so buy this early in the pre-market if you can. NVDA had an average analyst price target of $600 before this weekend's news, so there's quite a bit of upside on the stock. Ken and Grace encourages you to buy fractional shares if you want to buy NVDA, but don't have the money to buy a full share. Next up is OAC. OAC is a SPAC. They are merging with Hims and Hers, which is a telehealth care company. This can be compared to Teladoc, ticker symbol TDOC, which has gone up over 300% over the past 18 months. George Perez is the first YouTuber to talk about this stock, so the stock is not hyped yet, and you have an opportunity to get in early while hype is still building. That said, it has already gone up 70%, so be wary of a possible short-term pullback. Next up is OEG, Orbital Energy. This is a solar panel company. Jack Spencer has been swing trading the stock, but now sees it as a good long-term investment. He put a price target on it of $9. Next up is PACB. This is a genomics company and ARK Invest top investment in their ARKG fund. This has already risen significantly, but with SoftBank taking a large stake in PACB, I do expect this to continue to rise, and Stock Mode likes it also. Next up is PLTR. Jack Spencer gave his technical analysis on the stock today. It's been in consolidation for quite a while now, and really is not a good swing trade. Jack Spencer does like this as a long-term trade, though, and will most likely be buying more Monday. Next up is PSAC. Richard Allen alerted us to the SPAC today. It just announced who they are merging with, Faraday Future, which is an EV company. This SPAC was trading at $10 on Friday, which usually is the floor for SPACs. Now that they have announced who they are merging with, you can expect PSAC to jump 50% to 70% over the next few weeks. Next up is PYPL, PayPal. Smart Trader thinks PayPal will continue rising to new all-time highs soon. He sees this as a psychological play, which makes this the first psychological play I've ever covered on this channel. Specifically, since PayPal is near $250, Smart Trader thinks this will act like a magnet as investors buy in, expecting PYPL to reach $250. We've seen this recently with Tesla, as it's been rising rapidly as people discuss the possibility of Tesla hitting $1,000. Smart Trader likes this as a day trade. Specifically, he wants to play the $250 weekly call option. Next up is RIDE. 
This is Lordstown Motors Corp. It's an EV stock. Jack Spencer gave his technical analysis today, and due to the recent sideways action, it's hard to say which way the stock is going to go. However, as a long-term play, Jack Spencer says he will buy the stock Monday as it's a great deal at current prices. I mostly agree, but would personally like to see this drop a little bit to around $20 before getting in. Next up is RIOT, Riot. This is a Bitcoin miner. Charlie likes MARA better in the short term, but recommends Riot if you are risk adverse because it won't drop as much as MARA if Bitcoin pulls back. Next up is SBE, Switchback Energy. SBE is a SPAC that is merging with ChargePoint. I covered the stock extensively in part two of this video, but wanted to give you a quick update on what some YouTubers said today. Jack Spencer wants to wait to buy SBE until it breaks above $43.07, which is a level of resistance. That said, he does expect SBE to rise Monday, given that they now have a confirmed merger date. Larry Jones owns SBE as a long-term play and recommends buying more Monday. Next up is TDOC, Teladoc. Teladoc is a genomics company. The stock didn't rise as quickly as many of the other genomics companies, so technically it's a better buy than many of the other genomics companies being hyped up right now. Next up is TRXC. This is now a hype stock with three different YouTubers mentioning it, but please be careful because we need to buy the hype and sell the news, and the news is being released Monday. I mentioned the stock already in part one and part two of this video, so you can watch those for more information on this company. This might be a good short if the news tomorrow disappoints. Next up is TSLA, Tesla. Larry Jones believes Tesla stock will be a powerhouse in 2021. He recommends putting 40% of your EV portfolio into TSLA. Stockmo just upped his price target on TSLA to $1,000, but recognized that this is his minimum price target and he could see the stock go much higher. Next up is TTCF Tattooed Chef. Chris Saints said to buy the stock on Monday so long as the price stays below $24. Next up is TWST. This is a genomics company. It had a slight pullback on Friday after going up 20% on the week. Technically, this looks like it might be forming a bull flag, so look for TWST to continue rising this coming week. Next up is VERU. Smart Trader thinks that as soon as the stock breaks above $10, it will continue rising significantly. $10 is a massive psychological level on penny stocks because as soon as a penny stock breaks above $10, it is no longer considered a penny stock. Smart Trader likes this as a swing trade. You can buy shares or play options. Smart Trader will be buying the February $10 monthly call option on VERU at market open on Monday. Next up is WFC Wells Fargo. Charlie likes this the best of all the finance stocks because it hasn't recovered from COVID as much as the other banking stocks have. Next up is WKHS Workhorse. Jack Spencer gave his technical analysis today. He sees WKHS continuing to go up, but personally I disagree and think WKHS will continue to drop. Keep in mind that this is a short-term analysis over the next few days, and this remains a good long-term play. Next up is ZOM. This is a veterinarian biomedical company. This is also a hype stock. Chris Sane thinks this will continue to rise this week as a short-term play. He recommends selling after it goes up another 50% or more. Ken and Grace expect ZOM to become profitable when they announce earnings next month. If they are able to do that, this will be the first year that they are profitable. Institutional investors continue to buy ZOM and increase their positions. Although there is only one analyst who is covering this stock, he rates it a buy. Ken and Grace thinks you should buy this stock on Monday. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you make a lot of money trading today. Comment down below how well you did this morning. And if you want to get some free stock, sign up for Webull through my link in the description below. That will help you out and also helps the channel out because you get up to four free stock. And remember, if you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe. All right, I hope you have a lot of success trading today and I will see you tomorrow.